Um, you can actually stack cook an entire meal in here. What does that mean? Well, that means um, you can uh, maybe put a pasta or some kind of starch in the bottom, maybe meat, vegetables, dessert on top. Um, you can mix match it all up. You can do it however you want, whatever needs fit your family. Um, so it's a pretty universal product. It goes in the microwave. It comes with two seals. So guys, you can cook dinner ahead of time, slap the seal on it when you're ready, just reheat it, or maybe just prep it, put it in the fridge. When you get home, throw it in the microwave. Dinner is done in no time at all. Um, you can bake desserts in here. You can do an entire rotisserie chicken in here, and it's still crispy on the outside and juicy, just falling off the bone on the inside. I wanted to show you guys, with this wonderful product, how to do a 25 minute super easy supper, okay? So what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna have green beans in the bottom, we're gonna do potatoes, onion, chicken in the middle, and I'm gonna flip the top over and do apples and cinnamon sugar. I know, doesn't that sound amazing? Uh, my family will be very happy tonight with a full course meal. So, let's get started on a recipe, are you ready? Okay, so on the bottom, we're going to do, and the bottom is three quarts, so it's kind of a bigger container, okay? It's got these, um, bumps here at the bottom that are raised so that it had even cooking in the microwave because it doesn't sit flat and the microwaves can bounce through and cook it all around. So we have two cans of French style green beans. Okay, bring those over here. I'm gonna show you our handy dandy can opener. Okay, this guys is a non-normal can opener. It does not have any blades. It has two wheels. Been different, huh? And a little tooth there on the end. So what we're gonna do is we're going to Put the lid of the can in between those two blades down the top there and give it a whirl and you'll hear poppy noises or it'll get really really easy all of a sudden depends on the can and you open the handle back up you grab the lid with the tooth see if we got that and it breaks the seal look at that no sharp edges so we're just gonna go ahead and pour our green beans in the bottom here there's one. Okay, let's do these. Let's really quickly. And if you know you have it on there, you can pick up the can. And it's um, ambidextrous, it's good with those who have arthritis, it's because you can really grip the handle and just turn it any way you'd like. Oh, there it goes again. Nice. It's clean. Seal, so we're going to dump that in there. So that's two cans of French style green beans. So we have those in there, alright. I'm going to go ahead and give that a little bit of a stir. And then we're going to add three tablespoons of soy sauce, which I have already pre-measured here into my little bowl. So we're gonna dump that in there. Okay, and we are gonna add three slices of bacon that's already been kind of quartered. I'm gonna throw that in there. Just some raw bacon, guys. Just toss them in there. And there's my bacon. Okay, so I'm gonna give that a little bit of stir and kind of mix up my bacon so they have kind of stacked together. Okay, layer one is done. Okay, so I'm put that to the side. So for our second layer, I'm gonna get the one and three quarter quarts, which is the next one up. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put that down. And on this one, we're gonna add an onion, four new potatoes our chicken, some seasoning. We're gonna slice the onion and the potatoes super duper thin. So you ready for this? Cause I got my mandolin out for it, right? So I'm gonna start with a potato first. Get my tipper knife on here. And I'm gonna cut just a little bit of the end off so it's kinda flat. On the mandolin, it's got these spikes here. If you push in, it makes it really easy to grab your fruits and vegetables. So we're gonna stick that in there pretty good. Now I can pick up my potato. And I have it set on just about two, so it's pretty thin. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna da dice some onions in there. I don't know about you guys, but I will probably layer that up. So I have layered my potatoes and my onions. Okay, so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the chicken breasts. Okay, so I've got um, four chicken breasts, kind of thinly sliced. I don't know, everybody likes yours differently. And I'm gonna kind of put it to the outside of the stack cooker so that it uh, cooks nice and evenly. Okay, there's my meats. Now, we're gonna sprinkle some seasoned salt. You can choose your favorite one that you like. I'm just gonna put a little bit of seasoning on there. Perfect, okay. So, second layer's done. There we go, I'm just gonna literally stack it right on top of the other, like that. Okay, you ready for our last layer? Okay, so, the top. So, you have a choice, you can cook it just like this or you can flip it over and make create a whole nother layer. Um, it does come with a colander. I'm not using this one at this time, but I have used it for many other recipes. So I'm gonna flip this one over and we're gonna work on our dessert because we need dessert, right? Oh, you know what? I already forgot one step. Let me go back, you ate, right? On the green beans, we added soy sauce and green beans and bacon. I forgot the sugar. So we're gonna do a half a cup of brown sugar. Throw that in there, we'll just stir that up real quick. cooker here and you know this can do so many things it can do beef it can do chicken it can do pork you can do stews you can do cakes um, I mean the possibilities are endless if you can think it, it has noodles pasta um, grains rice um, all of the above okay and then I'm gonna top the rest of the brown sugar in there Just give it a nice good coating there I'm gonna show you guys and there's my apples Okay, so we've got our green beans, we've got our chicken, potatoes, and onions, and our apples stacked beautifully like this. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this in the microwave for 25 minutes. Hi guys, so it's been 25 minutes. I let it rest for an additional five minutes. Um, I looked at my apples and I thought, I needed, I forgot to add something. Um, you can the recipe says red hots I'm not a fan of red hots so I added a little cinnamon so you ready to see our layers okay look at that oh my gosh and they're so soft that's layer one right there's our dessert guys you can serve it like this too okay this looks amazing we've got steamed chicken with our potatoes and everything and onions okay that's layer two and the last layer, if you guys had smell-o-vision, oh my gosh. Okay, so we got our green beans. Our bacon is even cooked in everything. And I have dinner for my whole family. So, let me show you guys. Look at that. Dinner is served. 